Hello everybody, Star Arc here, and today we'll be looking at my third custom Star Wars minifigure series. My first one was based on the Skywalker Saga, my second one was based on the live action shows on Disney+, and this one is based on the theatrically released spin-off movies, thanks to LEGO Nerd Purist Customs YT and Nicholas Elric Gamer 8257 for suggesting this, and let's get started with these minifigures. First up will be the figures from the Clone Wars movie. If this were a real series, you'd get all the pieces to build Rod of the Hutt if you bought Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan. His arms are super expensive and I don't have them, so I just use sand green hot dogs instead. They're way too long, but they do the trick. Here is Anakin Skywalker. His hair and head are from the 2020 Duel on Mustafar set. That torso is from the original Clone Wars figure, but I replaced the arms with rockets from the Rocket Raccoon Polybag. His hips are Nick Fury's, and his legs are Tom Riddle's from a Lego Harry Potter book. His first accessory is his lightsaber, and his second accessory is the main piece of Rod of the Hutt. Next up is Ahsoka Tano. Her Montrals, torso, and hips are from the original Clone Wars figure, but her head is from the 2020 figure. Her legs are from the Knight of the Yellow Castle from Series 23. She also has her two lightsabers and one of Rada's arms. Here is Obi-Wan Kenobi. His hair is Gunner Eversols from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and his head is from the 2022 Jedi Starfighter set. His torso and hips are from the official Clone Wars figure, but I gave him Monica Rambo's arms from the first Marvel CMF series and Punisher's legs, which I actually got from Build a Minifigure at the Lego store. And then he has his blue lightsaber and Rada's other arm. And the final Clone Wars movie figure is a Phase 1 Clone Trooper. I think if this was a real series, this would be a good way for people to build a clone army. Anyway, his hair is M'Baku's, and his head is the standard clone one they've been using lately. I got his torso and legs from the Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack. His arms and hips are Syndromes from the first Disney CMF series. His first accessory is a Black Blaster, and his second accessory is his helmet, which I also got from that Battle Pack. Moving on to Rogue One, here is young Jin Erso. Her hair is from Build a Minifigure, and her head is from Lex from Jurassic Park. That torso is a Park Rangers from City, but I turned it backwards and replaced the hands with light nougat ones. She's also using dark tan short legs and the Spice Backpack from Series 16. One of her accessories is a Kyber Crystal, and her other one is her Stormtrooper toy. Here is Galen Urso. His hair is Aunt May's and his head is from an old Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. His torso and legs are Luke's from the 2019 Star Wars Advent Calendar, but I replaced the reddish-brown hand with a light nougat one. He's also holding some blue milk and a miniature model of the Death Star. Next up is Saw Gerrera. His hair is Nakia's from Black Panther and his head is Mordo's from Multiverse of Madness. That shoulder armor is Jor-El's from the second Lego Batman movie CMF series and the tile on the front is from Scuba Iron Man. His cape is from Scarlet Witch from the first Marvel CMF series. His torso and legs are Anton Merrick's from Rogue One but I gave him Darth Vader's arms, one medium brown hand, and a flat silver peg leg. He's also holding a black cane and a short flat silver blaster. And the last Rogue One figure is General Draven. His hair is Hawkeye's from the 2012 Avengers, and his head is from an Old Republic trooper. His torso is General Dodonna's, and his legs are Loki's from the first Marvel CMF series with plain dark brown hips. He's also holding a short black blaster and that printed tile to represent a tablet. Now we'll look at the four Solo figures. First up is Han Solo in his Imperial uniform from a deleted scene. He's basically just the Imperial shuttle pilot minifigure, but I gave him Han's head from Solo. I wish I had these printed arms, I think they would be perfect for this figure. His first accessory is a short black blaster, and since there isn't a good face print with an eye bandage, I decided to just give him a different injury, so I gave him a cast piece. Next up is Dryden Voss. His hair's Mr. Incredibles and his head is Darth Vader's from Obi-Wan Kenobi. His torso and hips are from Spider-Man Noir but I gave him Penguin's arms from the Lego Batman movie, Light Nougat hands, and Darth Vader's legs. He's also using a cape from the Mandalorian Battle Pack and Moon Knight's accessories from the second Marvel CMF series. Here is L337. Before I show you how to build her, I just wanted to mention her accessories. Her first one is a container of coaxium, which is just a slightly modified version of this build from Lightyear. And her second accessory is a comlink. You know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure L3 dies before they even get any coaxium. I haven't seen Solo in a while, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's still a cool accessory.
And finally is Lando Calrissian from the end of the movie. I don't have the Lando figure from Solo, so I got his hair from Nakia and his head from a Return of the Jedi Lando. That torso is Gonzo's from the Muppets CMF series, but I replaced the hands with reddish brown ones. I know I saw someone use that torso on Instagram before, but I don't remember who it was. Let me know if you know so I can give them credit. Anyway, his legs are from Ernesto de la Cruz from the Disney 100 CMF series, and he's using a white cape. His first accessory is a flat silver blaster, and his second accessory is a dark green tile to represent a green Psylop Sabacc card. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for videos I should make in the future, please let me know down below and I'll give you a shout out if I use your idea. Anyway, come back on Saturday for another cool video. See you then.